Britons have brutally torn apart an Irish politician who attempted to taunt Brexit Britain after he posted a visual on social media of ferry routes bypassing the UK. Neil Richmond, teach to Dala for Dublin Rathdown, shared a picture on Twitter showing ferry routes heading for Ireland's capital. Accompanying the tweet to his followers, he wrote, powerful visual from Ireland's development office of the ever-growing state of direct shipping to our largest market, continental Europe, post-Brexit. More to come, Ireland has been highly critical of how Britain has conducted itself in ongoing negotiations and its continued threat to trigger Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol. This could see the UK tear up large parts of the agreement for post-Brexit trading arrangements the country, with Ireland's Foreign Minister Simon Coveney warning the EU will respond very robustly, but Britons have now been quick to mock Irish politician Mr Richmond over his post on Twitter, reacting to our initial story. Express Reader Binnacle wrote, The deluded fool doesn't realise it makes Irish products more expensive and we don't have to suffer their lorry pollution, win-win for me body 1234 commented, Great, less congestion and pollution on UK roads, Irish trade to the EU via UK was just a nuisance and of no economic benefit, Express Reader Lord Baz said, Brilliant news, less trucks on the road, less pollution, the benefits just get better and better, Express Reader Piquet badded, Excellent news, fewer polluting lorries can only be good, like many of his governmental colleagues, Ireland's Foreign Minister Mr Coveney has been highly critical of the UK in negotiations with the EU over the implementation of the protocol, he has claimed Brussels has made major concessions to Britain, highlighting how proposals from Brussels stated customs checks on food products would be cut by 80% and a new proposal that would allow the UK to approve and send medicines to the province, Mr Coveney said, they were the tricky issues that businesses and political leaders and civic leaders on the ground in Northern Ireland wanted addressed, so, as you would expect, Lord Frost wants more, and the EU is trying to go as far as they possibly can, within the confines of the protocol to respond to what are genuine concerns, the UK's Brexit Minister Lord Frost also wants the European Court of Justice, ECJ, removed from the protocol that in which it would act as a so-called referee in future trade disputes between the two sides, but like the EU, Mr Coveney has also dismissed the possibility of this element being removed, he added, I don't think compromise is possible because that's quite a black and white issue, what the EU is saying is that the Court of the European Court of Justice has got to be the final arbiter on EU law and EU regulations, I think that's self-evident, later on Wednesday, Lord Frost will address the 1922 Committee of Backbench MPs as pressure mounts on him to trigger Article 16 and take decisive action against the EU. The UK's Brexit minister will address Tory MPs following surging unrest in the Conservative Party over Boris Johnson's leadership. It will be Lord Frost's first appearance before the 1922 Committee, where he is expected to update MPs on the progress of talks with the EU.